Hey, God bless you, my friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Brian. Welcome back to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. Today is Friday, May 13th, 2022. And even though it is Friday the 13th, superstitious thoughts, ideas, and so forth, such as Friday the 13th, have no power, zero power, unless you choose to align your belief system with it. This day, in my book, my choice is that it belongs to the Lord, and Jesus Christ is to be exalted, magnified, glorified, elevated beyond anything and everything in all creation, in all existence. Amen? So, so let's have <clears throat> that same mindset, just in case the enemy tries to bring you a thought of, oh, this day, bad things are going to happen. No. Good things are going to happen because God has a good future for you. Hope and his plans for you are of greatness, of glory, not in and of yourself, but him for you, him in you, him through you. Amen. And just like that says, these are glory days, not gloomy days. You make the choice. You choose life or you choose death. Last I checked, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our God, is the God of the living life, not the dead, death. So align with the Lord. Stay in agreement with him. For how can two walk together unless they are agreed? Amen? All right. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a prophetic word from Prophetess Veronica West. She has been, she's relatively new on Elijah's dreams, but she has been a seasoned prophet of the Lord for many years. And she is, uh, her ministry is called Ignite Ireland Ministries. You can always find out more information about the person whom I'm speaking of in the videos in the description. Please prayerfully consider following them on their platforms as the Holy Spirit leads you as you resonate or the Holy Spirit bears witness within you some servants of God it's it's you know maybe a season for you to connect with and some maybe not it'll be maybe later but that's okay that's the beauty of the variety of God's ways amen so this is why I bring the the words of the prophets that I do they are blessing me I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm being a student, and in and through it, the Lord helps to grow me. And then I come and I share with you so that you also may grow. Amen? So let's get ready to get into this prophetic word. All right, so this prophetic word is dated May 12th, 2022, and it has the title of America, you will, America, <laughs> will the real mother stand up okay america will the real mother stand up that is what it is called let's hear what the lord has released through prophetess veronica west before we do that father we thank you for this wondrous day we thank you for your greatness and who you are we thank you for how you align things father and how your favor and your grace is upon us your people we love you, we give you praise and glory. All of it is yours and all the credit shall forever be yours. We thank you, we invite you now, Father, Lord Jesus and Holy Spirit to be with us, be present, let the spirit of the living God flow freely, powerfully as you bring a mighty release of your word, of your revelation, of your anointing to destroy the yokes of bondage in Jesus' name. We decree the blood of the Lamb upon us and everything that you have given us. We stand up against the darkness and we speak forth. You will not tolerate, sorry, you will not be active nor manifest in our presence. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, hallelujah. So this is the word and this is how it begins. Veronica says, so last night I had a powerful and poignant dream that I believe speaks prophetically to the hour. 
In this dream, I suddenly heard these words, bring the sword and cut the baby in half. As those words echoed loudly in the dream, the story of 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 28, which is down below here in this article, suddenly unfolded before me. And I watched as two women and a beautiful baby boy were brought before the Supreme Court of America. Wow. And as I looked at the two women standing in the courts, I saw in the dream that one woman stood for life and the other woman for death. As I looked at them again, I suddenly saw two altars arise in their midst, and then the beautiful baby boy was held up for the judges to see. And a fight broke out between the two women over whose baby it was. Wow. <clears throat> Suddenly I heard these words again, bring the sword and cut the baby in half. As I heard th those words for a second time, a loud scream was heard, and the woman who stood before the altar for life cried out, Please don't kill my son. And the woman who stood before the altar of death for death screamed, Go ahead and cut him in half. Then neither of us will have the baby. As I watched this unfold, I heard the sound of a gavel hit a wooden block. And as the sound of the gavel echoed, loudly throughout the whole courtroom. The atmosphere in the courtroom suddenly changed and the woman who stood before the altar of death let out a blood curdling scream as the baby boy was handed down to the woman who stood at the altar for life. I watched as the rightful mother was revealed and she received the justice she came for. But then suddenly the dream shifted, and I no longer saw the two women standing before the courts. Oh, thank you, Lord. But the two altars remained, and I heard these words. Listen, for the blood of the innocent cries out day and night in my courts. Watch for a spiritual showdown shall take place between life and death, light and and darkness. For even as nations rise against nation, so shall states rise against states. Wow. For surely a nation once called united shall no longer stand as one nation under God. But look, did I not say that two altars would arise? For a great spiritual showdown will take place as the altars of Cain and Abel emerge in the midst of a nation being sifted and separated, and a great divide will begin to take place. As sheep states come out from among them, the goat states run to worship at the altar of Cain. Whoa. So you got the one who did good, Abel, in the Bible, and the one who did evil, Cain. Watch and pray as the plumb line of my justice falls upon a nation, now under the divine reconstruction. See, for fault lines and tectonic plates will move. Whoa, as cracks deepen, for as political tensions grow and intensify in the days ahead, boundary lines will suddenly be shifted and rearranged, and the landscape of the nation, once united, will forever be altered and changed. Wow. Wow, wow. So again, I say watch and pray as a great showdown now begins to take place. Oh. Two altars, two hearts being revealed, and two masters. That's the subheader. In the days ahead, I believe prophetically, we will see that those, these two altars take center stage. As these two altars take center stage, one for life, one for death. The choice between two masters and whom you will serve will become more and more pronounced. There is a clashing of kingdoms and a call to which altar we will bow down to. 
Mm. Take this personally right now. The Lord is warning us. The Lord is almost as if saying, where do you stand, my children? Do you stand for life or death? Pro-life, pro-choice. God, the devil. It's that cut and dry, that black and white. So decide in your heart. I hear the Spirit say, watch, for surely it will be nation against nation, state against state, states against states, church against church against church, brother against brother, mother against mother, and child against child. For my sword of truth comes to divide and conquer, to separate and to circumcise. But watch as the whirlwind of my spirit comes to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children, and the hearts of the children back to the fathers. I see a strange fire will fall on one, and a holy fire will fall on the other and consume all. Hmm. I'm just reading here at the a couple notes in the bottom to see if, if it's necessary for me to mention them to you. Okay, here's a bit of a warning from uh, Veronica. She says, no one is laying blame. Please discern the word with caution. If you follow my prophetic words, you will see that I am speaking to nations. All right. And then, okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Now, you can go ahead and read in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 28. I won't read it, but you can read that on your own. The story of the two women who came before Solomon regarding whose baby a certain baby was. All right, so I will let you watch that. And that is this prophetic word for this moment. Now, it's been a crazy week. There is so much going on. Many of you know. Uh, Sister Julie Green has been removed by this platform, YouTube, and there have been, from what I hear, others as well. And so while I continue to bring you the words as the Lord leads me, I will be careful. I do believe that I will continue bringing you Julie Green's words, but I will be very careful what I vocalize. I will make sure that you that you know what is in the word, but I may have to get creative. <clears throat> this has nothing to do with fear. It is my it's my conviction that I just need to be careful. Why? Because yes, one can still stand boldly, and I will not back down. I do so with love, but I also want to do things wisely. If I can continue to bring you the words, <clears throat> from the Lord through various servants as well as when the Lord has given me a word that I bring to you in addition to prophetic dreams, visions, things I hear in the spirit and so forth, I will continue to do so. Sometimes I may have to speak in code. And if you realize, even Elijah's dreams does this. Because regardless of who's in control in terms of companies and so forth, just like Steve Schultz says, when he talks about live streams, he says, YouTube has been good to us. Now, that may bother people, but I don't disagree. YouTube is a wonderful platform. And you can't just say, in general, that something is completely evil when a person's free will, such as my own, can use such a platform and use it for God. Right? Now, everyone is responsible to the Lord individually. So regardless of, of what people may give an opinion and so forth, <coughs> I must go by how the Holy Spirit leads me. And any mature Christian not only respects that, 
but understands. Romans 8.14 says it very clearly. I'll let you look that up. Amen. <clears throat> so hallelujah. Um, it's been really uh, busy for me at work, but I will continue bringing words at least one per day. <coughs> um, I do want to mention again that just because out of, <coughs> excuse me, out of nowhere, uh, Julie Green's channel was removed or access and so forth. This is why it is important that you're following those whom you, the Lord is blessing you through, such as this channel, on other platforms, just in case, so that we can still communicate with you. That being said, I decided to create a Telegram channel just so that I can communicate with those of you, uh, just in case. You never know. Now, I did create a Telegram channel and it is in the description i will also pin i will also comment the direct link okay so it's in the description you got to press the down arrow or you got to press where it says show more okay and then you'll see telegram you click on the link you press join and you're in you may have to download the app but you do it for other things why not do it for something where god is speaking to you right so so far we have uh just under 400 uh, telegram channel subscribers which is a blessing and on there i am able to freely not only not only send you uh the videos just in case the youtube notifications are not working i can upload and then i can follow up and send to you there as well as <coughs> when i see prophetic news which honestly there's a lot but i don't want to bombard you all because there are uh many of you who comment and so forth and it's just it's wonderful it's wonderful i don't know how this is going to unfold but it's going to be beautiful oh man i feel god's presence just washing over me here so <clears throat> um again it's up to you but it's highly advisable uh so after youtube i will be most active on telegram then on instagram then i have twitter and rumble as well even if you don't see me posting regularly at least you have a connection just in case right just in case Seventeen thousand subscribers which we just passed and you know we had another winner so i want to make sure that i don't lose contact with you all um just in case amen but speaking of seventeen thousand, we do have a new winner and um, as the lord led me and placed on my heart we have we're gonna have a winner every hundred subscribers all the way up to eighteen thousand. i'm excited because that means 10 of you i get to bless and this is funds from my own paycheck from my own um day-to-day -day job so i'm looking forward to be a blessing with you all and so we do have a new winner the seventeen thousand subscriber uh winner was uh let me see beverly ramsey all right so i already did a youtube shorts specifying the name so we want to make sure that Beverly Ramsey, that you email me and you choose your prize and all that good stuff. You can hear the ambulance, right? So I'm aware of it, but I'll just I just continue to talk. So, Father, we lift up the situation with the ambulance. I pray that your people, Father, learn to become more aware. And because awareness is a part of discernment, Lord, I hope that you help sharpen them, Lord God. And right now we lift up the situation here and we ask that your holy angels be there with them, that your Holy Spirit Fulfill your purpose and your plan and protect the people all involved, O oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. All right, so see, it's, so, it's easy. L being a Christian is a lifestyle. You must be able to practically apply your faith and walk with the Lord. That right there is an easy example. Let the Lord use you. You never know because you prayed for someone, that person may become the, the next, you know, Paul that they may become someone who is drawn to the Lord. And because you interceded, not even realizing, the Lord's going to credit their spiritual rewards to your account. I'm telling you, I mean, you, you we got to think, we got to think higher. God's perspective, all right? So anyway, <clears throat> real fast, um, just so you know the prizes, those of you who don't know yet, um, we got a lot of prizes. And I figured, you know, why not make it a variety? Because then people will be more excited to want to win, all right? So one of the prizes is a glory days not gloomy days hat you can get close there see there this is awesome this is awesome i mean i have i have two in black and two in white ready to give and i am <coughs> i am planning to um to be able to bless you all with more because i know you, you really want them and they are anointed from the lord so 
I hope you support Mega Praise Ministries, Manuel Johnson's ministry, as well as others as well. Um, amen. All right. So another one of the prizes, there's four prizes. One is your choice of hat. Two is this Terry McCalman CD. Oh, it's hard to see because of the glare. Ah, uh, there it is. I'll just cover my face up. Terry McCalman, oh, my favorite, favorite worship leader. In fact, I think I'm going to send one of the songs via Telegram so all of you can get a taste of it. Well, at least those of you who are there. So you're going to want to check that out. All right. Of course, you can listen on YouTube. That's fine. But, you know, to have a CD playing 24-7, Manuel Johnson has said it. Even Kat Kerr has said that she plays soak in worship music all the time. I also have a prayer room where I have worship music going all the time. Amen. Another um, prize, Passion Translation. Now, you can see it's about the size of my hand. This is a mini one. If you happen to be one of the winners, um, if you really, really need, like your eyes really need large print, <coughs> I do have, um, I am planning to get a few uh, for those people who need it. But if not, uh, it's going to be uh, this one. This one is a little bit, it's about half the price of the large print, all right? And then finally, these are just two samples, but you can choose, if you're a winner, you can choose any Kevin Zadai book. You can just go on Amazon and just search Kevin Zadai books and look and see what you would like. These are two examples. This one's really, really good. Um, regarding your identity in Christ, this will help set you free, as well as show you w how you can walk in divine favor. Uh, and this one as well. Words that the enemy doesn't want you to speak. And the un understand when you speak them with faith, the power, and the authority that is connected to them. So <coughs> that is that. That's all I got for you now. Um, God bless you. I do hope you join Telegram because I'll be able to share things that I even can't share here on YouTube. Uh, prophetic news and whatnot, and I will help connect things. All right. So God bless you. I love you all. I will continue to bring you things as I can. And I hope you have the most fantastic weekend ever. Jesus Christ is Lord. So make sure you're exalting him, thinking about him, praising him, praying in the spirit. And in this way, walking with him and he with you. I'll see you very soon. God bless.